Greetings and salutations, all. I.S. Anderson here once again, and today I'm going to do a review of The Elder Origins by Brie Fauché. The Elder Origins is a series of short novellas that are historical fiction dealing with the origins of vampires. The story is told from the perspective of Madison, a refugee from a war over in Europe who comes to America with her brother Jameson and a group of other settlers to make a home in the Americans long before Christopher Columbus even discovers it. As it turns out, though, they are not alone in this new world. A group of Indians has noticed them and is observing them from afar. Their intentions are not known until a series of disastrous events takes place. Most of the colonists are killed because of these events, and Madison soon finds out that she's stricken with a strange, bizarre new illness, and so are the rest of the colonists that have survived. When Madison recovers from her illness, she finds that she's fundamentally changed, and then it becomes a struggle of survival between her, the remaining colonists, and this Indian tribe that has, take, that has decided to make war upon them. Okay, so just as my personal thoughts on the story, I did like it a lot. I did find, you know, it a very uh, unique and interesting approach to vampires. I mean, it isn't a whole full-length novel. It's only a novella, so there is only so much you can do in a novella. But I thought for as long as it was, there was uh, quite a lot packed into that short amount of space. And it was all pretty interesting, and it was an easy story to follow along. Um, a lot of people apparently find it confusing. I didn't find this particular part confusing, but then again, I've only read you know the first novella. I haven't read the other two parts of the story, which might get confusing there. But overall, I'd say it's definitely um, it's definitely worth the 99 cents that it costs. So yeah, if you're looking for you know something cheap you can read fairly quickly, yeah, definitely give this one a try. And also, if you want to like a different refreshing spin on vampires this you should find this pretty interesting uh, don't worry there's no you know sparkly golden-eyed vampires it's definitely not a romance story um, the only the only well, not really a criticism but a nitpicky thing I would have appreciated more was maybe take a little bit longer to see vampires doing vampire stuff um, I mean you do get to see some vampire abilities and there is blood drinking going on but I would have liked to have spent a little bit of time with, you know, the vampires stalking their prey and all that stuff. But again, that's just a little nitpicky thing. Uh, you know, that's kind of stuff might be more in the second and third part. But again, like I said, uh, it's definitely worth the 99 cents to purchase. So I'll leave a link for it to Amazon down below there. Masson herself, I think she is a pretty well-written character. Uh, she definitely is a product of her times. I mean, she does, I mean... This, she comes from a time back when women had their roles, men had their roles, and you know, but they had to back then because they were on the wilderness surviving, and you know, especially when they're in an environment where there's no real central government and there's no real laws, and so you know, everybody does what they have to in order to survive. But she still is sort of ahead of that time. She is a little bit more progressively thinking. I mean, she does question, uh, well, not so much uh, her role as a woman, but she does question, you know. You know what the church says and you know what she's been taught to believe and all that stuff and she says well you know what I've been taught to believe doesn't make sense to an extent so I mean she is pretty interesting but she is realistically portrayed I mean she's not she's definitely not a Buffy another interesting aspect is that you don't really see or should I say you don't really meet the antagonists of the story I mean they're pretty much they operate behind the scenes and you can feel their presence but you don't really know their names you don't really uh, no, well, you I mean you do know their motivations, but you don't really know exactly how they operate until you know one of the main characters explains it to you. But in the interest of not spoiling it for you, I'll leave the review there. So as always, I'll leave my printing contact information down below in the abyss. And uh, if you have any other comments on any videos you'd like me to do in the future, please let me know. Or if you've read the story, you know, if you have any comments on that, let me know. Just you know, nothing too spoilery. So please comment, rate, subscribe, you know the drill. And until we see each other next time, this is I.S. Anderson telling everybody, make your lives grin and have a good day. Thank you very much.